What is up, my beautiful gems? It's your girl, Gemma Jade, and I am here to do the weekly pick a card reading for November 8th through November 16th. So what I'll do is lay out three cards, number them one, two, and three. You can pause the video and take a moment to think about it, set your intention, and choose which card you want. If at the end, none of the cards really speak to you, I will pull an additional card either from the same deck or a different deck, depending on what the universe decides. So without further ado, let me give it one more shuffle and we will get started. I forgot to say that I am using the Magic of You deck this week, the Magic of You Oracle. It's absolutely beautiful. I love using it for personals. Beautiful artwork, and it's by Fiona Horn. So, card number one, card number two, and card number three. See which one speaks to you, and let's get started. So what I'll do here is I'll turn the card over. I'll show you what it is. I'll read what the book meeting is, and then I'll tell you intuitively what I get from spirit and the universe as to how your week's going to be. I'm just getting over that cold still, so I'm a little out of breath. Just bear with me. If you chose card number one, you chose the card of flashover. It's all in your head. This card has been coming out in so many readings, so many personals, even the Wednesday nights when I do the one cards, this card came out. You are overthinking things. Friction and resistance in the circuits of your brain have now confused you into thinking the pain and tension in, is in the world around you when really it's all in your head. The good news is that at the same time, all it takes is a spark of trust to short circuit resistance built up from the friction with the world. When flashover appears, it's time to close your eyes and take a deep breath and recognize that the only thing standing in your way is you. The light of a busy mind can be beautiful, but in order to reveal its best achievements, times of darkness and rest are essential. After all, you can only see the stars in the darkness. Let go of your worries and fears for a while without reservation and let the world balance itself around you. The girl of flashover is wary, but realizes that she cannot continue in this way. The growing plump leaves around her cushion and comfort her as she slowly releases her mental grasp and relaxes her mind towards clear thought and profound insight. If you chose card number one, the card of flashover, this week is another week where you are not to be taking action. <clears throat> this week, the universe wants you to simply think, to really think and put things together. Okay, you are definitely stressed. There is a major decision in your life that absolutely must be made or that you feel absolutely must be made right now. But you don't know what your choice is. You don't know which way you're going to go with it. And the universe is saying the choice doesn't have to be made this week. If it does or if it doesn't, okay? Every case is going to be different. This is a general reading. But for most of you, it doesn't have to be made this week. Either way, the universe wants you to go outside Put your feet in the bare earth underneath the moonlight. I always say it in personals and I tell my personal friends that what the sunlight does for us physically, the moonlight does for us spiritually. Take some time to think. Take a ritual bath. Take a shower the way you normally would. Rinse out the tub. Fill it up with water as hot as you can possibly get it and throw in a handful of sea salt. After you bathe for at least 15 minutes while kind of meditating, relaxing, just letting your mind go... When you get out, you can dry your hair and stuff, but let your body air dry so that salt forms a protection around you, just as if you were to salt your property, okay? I would highly recommend doing that. I do it all the time. It works wonders, all right? This week is a time for thinking things out, for putting two and two together, not overreacting, okay? Make sure that you know all of the information before you make this decision. And the universe is saying, listen, it could wait another week. Next week, things will be much more clear. Something is still unclear to you in regards to this decision right now. So this week, just relax. If it's possible to take off work or to have a little staycation, do it, okay? If you chose the second card, you chose card number 32, the card of tangibility. Make your dreams real. Let's see what the book has to say. Mm. 
Is your head in the clouds? Are you feeling floaty and ephemeral? Lofty states of being are best appreciated when we are grounded. Earth's animals are our teachers. When we float in life so long that we feel directionless or confused, they show us the way to practical action in the physical plane. Animals live authentic lives and do not claim to be anything other than what they are. Consider the qualities of different animals. What are you drawn to in this current moment? The lesson you need and the best action to take lies in the connections you recognize. The unconditional love and joy of a dog, the shedding skin of a rebirthing snake, the sensuous purring of a cat, the chrysalis transformation of a butterfly. To find the answers you seek, it is time for animal connection and communion. The girl of tangibility comes to know her dreams are possible as the bird alights on her crown and butterflies kiss her shoulders. The clouds of illusion part and she can see her dreams made real by communing with her animal companions. So, place yourself in environment with animals. This is how you're going to learn from them and connect with one. If you have a significant animal, other or others, share peaceful space with them, gaze into their eyes and write down the thoughts and actions that come to you. To further stimulate your conscious creative mind, visit a humane zoo or other place featuring different species that you can interact positively and respectfully with. Ask for their blessing and thank them for the lessons they offer. Make notes on the creatures you are drawn to and consider the reasons why they attract you. The tangible, visceral experience of physical interaction is best for this ritual, but you can also watch a documentary featuring different animals and write your feelings and impressions in order to see into your current soul expression. When this card appears, it's time for it's time to partner with a familiar, an animal companion who facilitates your psychic growth and helps you with your rituals and or spell work. But that's just for people who get it with the witch card, which we're only doing one card. So would I do the documentary version? Obviously, I can't just pick up and go to the zoo. I don't have any domestic pets. And the only things outside are like bears and coyotes. So I watch the documentary. I stare intently at the screen, especially when the animals are looking at it. When the animals look right at the screen, I pause. The reason you need to connect with your animal self this week <clears throat> or your animal spirit guide, your animal spirit, your animal companion, right? You have one main animal spirit, but there are others who come in here and there from time to time to help you. And the reason is because you may, it's not that you're lying, like you're not living your authentic life, but you may be feeling a bit with your head in the clouds. The total opposite of this card where they really need to, you know, get out of their heads and, and find the truth. What you need to do is also actually get out of your head. So it's not the opposite. It's the same. But for a different reason, card number one needs to find the truth of a situation to make a decision. You are trying to find a part of yourself this week, whether you know it or not. The universe is saying you are missing a piece of your soul. We all are. Okay, there are so many things that take little soul pieces away. And as it does, the light seeps out of those little spaces where the soul piece has departed. Okay, so getting in touch with your animal self is going to connect you to your most basic and your most primal self. And it will help you figure out what it is you really want in life or need to go for in order for soul ascension. If you chose card number two, I think it's really important that you understand that the universe has moved things around to put you exactly where you are good or bad because you're on your way to ascension okay so it may sound dumb it may sound stupid if you're new to this channel or if you're new to this these videos but i know that the stemma crew the tribe will understand the importance of following the direction of this card okay your head is in the clouds you're not seeing something clearly all right, you are looking at things with rose colored glasses. Take the animal stuff out if you think it's ridiculous and don't want to do it. I think that's a bad idea. But at the end of the day, the universe is saying, get your head out of the clouds, take the rose tinted glasses off and see something or someone for who they really are or what it really is. And I think you're dealing with a person here. And I think this person is a snake in your grass. I think there's drama, chaos, perhaps codependency, addiction just popped into my head. You have to learn to separate yourself from this person. OK, you're not seeing you're, you're purposely not seeing something about this person or this situation. The universe wants you to also do some meditation, if possible, OK, to get a clear head and really figure out what's going on here with this person. There's going to be a lot of drama and chaos ahead if you don't follow what the universe is telling you as far as seeing the truth, allowing yourself to see it no matter how much it hurts. 
or you're on the path to soul ascension if you can do that if you can listen to the advice of spirit if you chose card number three you chose card number 30 card of serendipity merge with the flow <clears throat> again sorry if i'm a little off this week i really still don't feel well i don't know what's going on serendipity be aware that opportunities are lining up around you merge into the flow of life trust it in all its light and shadows they have brought you to this point maybe unbeknownst to you you are perfectly poised for opportunity right now trust your efforts and recognize the signs of serendipity occurring around you this means you are where you are meant to be doing what you are meant to be doing be conscious of follow-up and follow through good fortune forms around you the girl of serendipity merges into the leaves of life and they welcome her into their nourishing and lush embrace. Like them, she is growing in abundance and opportunity. Fresh potential awakens. Everything happens in its right time and place exactly as it's meant to. And that's exactly what's happening for you. This is a really good week for you. Abundance. Okay. Opportunities from the universe. The universe is going to be opening the door this week for something that you've been trying to manifest for something that you've really, really wanted. Okay, it's not going to be handed to you this week, but the door is going to be opened. Okay, in the coming month, the rest of November, early December, you are going to achieve a major, major goal and accomplishment. If you stay focused, if you stay fearless, okay, continue your manifestation and shadow work. If that's what you're doing, continue to be thankful. Count your blessings out this week, okay? The universe wants to know that you're grateful. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Just like I said with card number two, good or bad. This is the best card so far that I've pulled this week. It seems like you have all your stuff together. All your ducks are in a row. You are prepared. You are confident. Okay, you have a huge win coming in, a glow up, total abundance, blessing. Just be mindful that you have to continue working because once you reach this goal, there's so much more for you to do. You're going to want the next thing. And that's only human, but that's also what the universe wants for you. If you were unable to pick a card, let's see what the universe has for you. So this will be for someone who didn't resonate with one, two, or three. And I decided in these readings that even if you picked like card one, but you resonate more with card three, you got your message, whichever message is yours, just take it. And I may start doing it like that this week, pulling three cards and whatever resonates with you. So the fourth card, you got card number 16, Merak, embrace oneness with the universe. <clears throat> Are you rushing through life trying to achieve and acquire? When Merrick appears, it's time to take a deep breath and slow down. Consider there are simple, small, happy things around you to which you are blind whilst you fixate on and desire larger goals and larger expectations that are making you feel increasingly cut off, frustrated, and even despondent. The girl of Merrick has stepped up away from her desk, out of the kitchen, away from others' expectations. She has chosen to walk, not drive. She treads slowly in order to fully sense and notice the little things around her. Her heart lifts with a great sense of happiness. At her feet spring luscious berries and sweetly scented flowers. The world around her swells with pleasure at its, as it senses itself being noticed and appreciated. It's time to step lightly in the world and be grateful for what you have. Notice the small things. The answers you seek reside in the small achievements and enjoyments of each day and in your willingness to be one with the universe. Know that your role and place in the world is just as essential as anyone in anything else's. Okay, so if this card chose you, you may be feeling like you're not moving forward, stuck, stagnant, okay, trapped in a certain situation or with a certain person I'm getting. You're struggling really bad with either a decision or just, you know, again, feeling stagnant, feeling stuck. And the universe is saying that's okay because once again, it's the message of you are right where you're supposed to be. If you don't stop wishing you had more, okay, um, only focusing on what you don't have, you're going to bring in more of that negativity. If you focus on your blessings, count your blessings, focus on what you do have and what you need to do to achieve the rest of it to where you want to be, you'll bring in more positive. But the universe is even saying this week, don't even plan for other things. 
look around you. Okay. There's so much to be grateful for. You woke up this morning, you know, whatever it is, try to write down, and this may sound like a lot, but coming straight in 10 things you're grateful for. Okay. At least three days this week, 10 things you're grateful for, truly grateful. All right. Also, don't be envious of others. Don't covet. Don't think like, why not me or things like that? Because the universe is saying you still have a lesson to learn in this situation that you're in this painful situation that you're like, why can't I just get out of this? The universe is saying the time is coming. The universe is always working with and for us. Therefore, you are going to get out of it. And eventually it's going to hit you and you're going to be like, oh, that's what I was supposed to learn from this. That's why I had to go through this. Trust me, it happened to me. Um, it was painful. It still is. But I know what I learned from it now. So it makes more sense and it's easier to handle. So this week, take time off. Again, if you can, try to, you know, pamper yourself. Try to give yourself a little extra love and attention. Say no this week. Don't go out of your way for anybody. Don't bother with the doing things for anyone else. Okay. Worry about number one this week. And number one is you also be thankful. Your, your blessings list. Thank the universe out loud. Okay. These cards are a little hard for one card readings. I've got to say. So, um, I hope all of this resonated with you all. If you want a personal reading, I do them for free, but I put a donation link in the description box, which is not, you know, mandatory, not obligated. Hit me up at gemmajadeparanormal at gmail.com. Guys, be kind to each other, but mainly be kind to yourselves. Smile at a stranger. Always go in grace. And I will see you next time. Have an amazing week, okay? Follow the universe. Go with the cards.